it's on! And let me just start the VOD recording and then let's just hope for some awesome games here, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? It is actually time for an original trademark special Android All International introduction. Are you ready? Brace yourselves. So, good evening, guten Abend, buonasera, buenas noches, buena notte, good Abend, good quell, good quell, good afternoon, dobre vice, dobre vicer, dobre vicer, and yo estet kivanok, grüß Gott, grüß Sie wohl. Konnichiwa, sin ciao, ni hao, salam alaikum, shalom. Namaste, Kamusta, and oh damn, I forgot what it called in um, Pashto. Pashto, of course, is the language people in Afghanistan and Pakistan speak. Uh, but I got it uh, on my mail server, so I will check for it. And when we are going to cast the finals, I will go all international on you people once again, and then we will see what's going on. So welcome, and um, here we are to the finals of the Special Andres Tournament Series Qualifier number 3. It is Nogram. And arranged fighting against each other so and zero skill is i think he's the manager of arranged uh if i am not mistaken of team nrs so we have nagram here spawning in the bottom right as the green zerg and looks like range is not realizing that we are playing on tsl <laughs> and zero skills by the way absolutely right about this nagram is a very managed guy and he absolutely is that's why i just invite him to tournaments it's really awesome um to talk to him and now zero skill said someone I cannot <laughs> um, translate but anyway so rage was actually not able to, um, to realized that the TSL version is always cross position so he spots the uh, checked here on the Shakura's close positions. At first we see ranged is going for a forge opening there we see Nogram still with his drone is he able to prevent this Nexus from going up any longer but range still is 150 minerals away from doing something so the drone gets out but he at least forced two drones, uh, two probes over here uh, going for the uh, hatchery first. No, not just yet because there we see the pool is a to finish for Nogram, but um, going for the hatchery at the three minute mark is still not like super duper late for a Zerg player anyway. Um, even though uh, the hatchery only started like 10 15 seconds before the Nexus was about to get uh, warped in here by range. So, uh, first photon cannon is coming up. Of course, he needs to have the photon cannon just because of the fact that he spotted this pool before the hatchery and now. It is time for us to see what the follow-up play is. Will we see some Stargate play? Will we see some heavy gateway play with the upgrades? Um, what do we see out of um, Nogrim? Is he going for a Baneling Bust? Or is just, just try to go for Mars Roaches? Maybe just Nidus worming his way to victory? Uh, or just showing us some fancy Muter Micro like he did in the last game where he was playing against Phoenix? A lot of stuff can happen. So I'm sorry, I'm just trying to talk to the admin about some, something really, really important. Um, I want to show us some more games, and so I'm just uh, told the admin to uh, maybe ask the players, because we are relatively early in the tournament, we did not have many delays, and that's why I asked him if uh, the players are um, agreeing to that, we might be able to um, cast the semifinals one after another if the um, players are agreeing, because it's just like 10pm um, uh, so from time to time we had this tournament uh, uh, this stage of a tournament like one, one and a half hour later on so that's why I'm really, really, really really, 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 really hoping that the players are agreeing, but it's still in the end, it is the players and not my choice because I can let players wait for like 4 or 5 minutes, no big deal but if they want to wait any longer, uh, it's actually up to them.
And now we see ranged actually went for a complete wall off here. So if remember, there's still the backdoor entrance, and he's not having a pile in there, but neither does uh, um, Nogrim here with an overlord. So there's currently no way to get here to the 6 o'clock, or uh, the smiley face expansion, or to the invert 12 o'clock um, smiley face expansion there. But yes, some um, the vector rocks are there. So with some good scouting should be in a good position. Now ranged, having the super hidden pile in here in the top right, likes this very much. Now the probe is trying to get in the base here once again, and now we see what uh, Nargrim is about to do, not just yet be... I mean, he's not having any other tech buildings, he's got the spawning pool, that's it. So he focused on the drone production, for example, having seven more drones in production right now, will be on 57... Oh no, 55 uh, compared to the 41 probes um, pretty soon. And 55, come on, give me 55. Uh, two more, and then we have 56 even anyway. So now the layer just finished, and double evolution chamber, not just yet, but a road row in evolution chamber it is. So he wants to focus on the ground units at the same time. Uh, range, by the way, will have to get rid of this gateway, or the forge, or the cybernetics core, but uh, one of those uh, three buildings will go down. There we see the robot facility, and this answers my question. So um, both guys going for some heavy ground army play here. This is a very very interesting. So, um, range will be at five gates and a robo. And um, the cybernetic score is going for the hallucination research. Of course, hallucination getting is getting researched way, way faster. He's at 40 um, of 80 seconds already. And looks like he is taking down the cybernetic score already. And I mean, um, if I'm not mistaken, our friend uh, zero skill set, something like we destroyed the cybernetics core, and indeed the cybernetics core is getting attacked. There we see a uh, hallucination just finished. Now he's stopping to attack the cybernetics core, and this is this is interesting. I mean, looks like zero skill absolutely knows uh, what's going on here in that regard, but I don't. And I'm really, really curious. Now the cybernetics core is done, uh, is gone. Do we see a new cybernetics core being warped in somewhere? This is just, this is just, I mean, this is absolutely not the first time he's doing this. And I'm just trying to make sense of it. I mean, I am able to make sense of a lot of builds and stuff like this, but here, not just yet. We see an immortal coming up here for ranged, the plus one armor is getting researched, the plus one attack for ranged. It's already finished, there we see the cybernetics core being robbed in once again, here we go. And now one cannon, of course, might not be enough. But it looks like Nogrim just not yet going for a possible run by Nogrim now knows about all those units checking here. The Nexus is going down right now. He's trying to pick up the probe. Still got this uh, circling alive. And he's got the burrow, so he even can go for the burrow. Delay those other um, expansions later on even a little bit longer. And Nogrim, he has got the road speed. And not just yet finished, but he's got the bower and he's got the tunneling claws finished. So he actually uh, prioritized the tunneling claws over. And looks like we have some lag. And now. Um, I saw him lag once. It was in the early stages. Um. But now he lagged uh, once again, so I was asking him to leave, but apparently... I can pause... Can I pause the game? No, I cannot. So there he's going now. Nogrim uh, wanted to walk in here with his tunneling roaches, but there we see the observer is completely aware of what's going on. And now some force hits being placed, seven in total. Um, did not do too much damage to the roaches, but he's got so many immortals out. He's going for the Twilight Council right now. Do we see more force hits? A couple of them, yes. But actually, those immortals doing too much damage to the roaches. The zerklings should move in here as well. But now with the zealots gone, the zerklings. Uh, will be able to take quite a lot of damage. He's moving back. Does he have enough energy for more force feeds? Only for one single force feed, allowing those roaches to get in here very, very fast. And now those roaches doing a ton and ton and tons and tons of damage. And... 
He's saying fucking Andre, but not Andre like Andre, he's Andre or Andre, which is his team captain, he was complaining about him. But um yeah. Ranged asked if he could join, but I'm not sure if this was actually the reason uh why he lost. Of course it distracted him, it forced him to type something and then um all the action happened already and looks like Nogrim with his decision to go for the tunneling clause before the roach speed to have some super fast boring roaches right away uh, was a good one because he was just not making use of the burrow quite a lot in terms of just um, moving underneath any force fields but in terms of healing those roaches and with the three hatches up he just was able to just pump out quite a lot of roaches he's got the plus one finished of course the plus one doing two more damage instead of just one more damage each time a roach is about to attack so congratulations um, to Nogrim, he is up a 1-0 here in this game against Ranged.